Fish plays an essential role in fighting hunger and malnutrition. It remains the main food source of essential nutrients for many. The fishery sector is a source of income and livelihoods for millions of people and contributes to the economy and trade around the world. Yet, fisheries face challenges including market forces and competition between small-scale and industrial actors, overfishing as well as illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing, which may lead to decreasing fish stocks, trade-offs with other uses of the ocean and coast, and external factors such as pollution and climate change. Fisheries management is needed to help address these challenges. It uses a large array of methods, approaches and tools in order to regulate fishing activities and achieve multiple societal goals. Yet the best fisheries management measures and regulations are only useful if fishers and the other stakeholders in the system are willing or incentivized to comply with them. Managing fisheries sustainably is not an easy task. That's where the ecosystem approach to fisheries comes into play. Also known by its acronym EAF, it is a comprehensive way of managing fisheries that involves reconciling a broader set of objectives, such as human well-being and ecosystem well-being, rather than focusing on a species in isolation or specific action. So, what makes EAF special? It is participatory. Key stakeholders are playing an active role in the decision-making processes at all levels of planning and implementation. It is comprehensive. It recognizes that humans are an integral part of the ecosystem and ensures that all key components of a fishery system are considered, including the ecological, social and economic dimensions, as well as the governance system and external drivers. It encourages the use of the best available knowledge, both scientific and traditional, in the decision-making process. It promotes the adoption of an adaptive and risk-based management system that requires regular reviews and adjustments to management plans. By doing so, the EAF aims to improve or safeguard the production of highly nutritious aquatic food and the well-being of the communities and stakeholders depending on fisheries resources. And for that, we need healthy fish stocks and ecosystems.